Hello! Guess what? I'm doing Vlogmas this year. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing, but this is going to be casual, unedited, and um, we're just going to do some fun things this month. Um, mostly I'll probably take you along with me while I fix some sweater holes and plan my projects for live streams. Um, things like that um, and I'll probably do a few free patterns and stuff like that along the way because I've been seeing a lot pop up on Instagram and it would be fun to sew some of them. So today I'm going to sew a basket or a bowl for my, my I almost called it Halloween, um, my Christmas candy. <laughs> so let's do it. All right. Um, so I have a band substance here in my studio and it's fake fur. I got this once when my daughter really wanted like a like a like a traditional looking um, stocking and so we got some of this fur. So I've already cut out the, the bowls and I'm just going to make one but I'm going to use the stiffener. I think the stiffener is not going to work out. I'm just going to be transparent there. Um, I cut the inner bowl and the the stiffener one. I cut the quarter of an inch off the perimeter just to make it fit a little better so hopefully it will. I don't really have a plan. I started making this and I was like why am I doing this by myself? Why don't you uh, come along because this is what the spirit of this is for and I'm so excited to have an excuse to have Christmas candy. <laughs> I, I really like candy. It's I don't even hide it. I have a big sweet tooth and I like candy. So it was really fun to pick some out. I had trouble narrowing, narrowing it down, so hence why I need something to hold it all in. I think that's not big enough that I got so much, but we'll see. So I'm, I don't really remember how to sew these from last year. They were from a, like a bowl cozy. You know, like if you microwave certain dishes, and they get really hot. This is a way to kind of cover your bowl with a pot holder. So you, when you pull it out of the microwave, you don't burn yourself. And I made them as gifts last year. We're just kind of retrofitting this pattern for a, a silly little Christmas candy bowl. All right, so I kind of want to stitch these darts down, so I'm going to do that too. I'm just going to flatten them out. See the stiffener? I just think it's going to be too, too stiff. But it's, I'm trying to use everything I have on hand. I have nicer felt and I didn't even use it just because, um, yeah, this is like a month long thing. And then it'll sit in my garage for a year. So just using the things I probably wouldn't use for other projects. Oof, that was messy. <laughs> And then later, I'm going to show you my, well, I kind of have a calendar for the month, um, but I'll probably pop on with some live streams too. I have four planned. Usually I stream every other week and we do a project, like I cut on a Wednesday and then I sew part one on Thursday and part two on Saturday. Um, and this month I'm only going to be doing one project and I'm going to cut it on a Wednesday. Well, I actually don't remember. No, I think I'm cutting it on a Thursday <clears throat> and I'm sewing it on Saturday. And so, and then the other week, I'm just going to do some gift sewing and gift bag sewing. But I've, so that's why I've left a lot of room to be spontaneous and do some things with you guys on uh, this Vlogmas thing. So it'll be fun. All right, almost there. And then we get to see if this silly idea is going to work. This is when you really wish I could edit, right? And I could just speed all this up and stop talking. <laughs> One more dart. <laughs> we just sewed 12 darts. <laughs> kind of badly. Some of them didn't even have, uh, well, that one didn't even get caught all the way. Some of them didn't have back stitches. If you're new here, I just want to tell you that I sew pretty darn good usually. Don't judge me by this, all right? And if you are new here and you're wondering if I've sewn something that you're about to sew and you need some help, uh, you can search my YouTube. But I 
I personally think YouTube's really hard to search. You can go to my website, which is on the screen. It's not a ploy to get you to my website. I don't have anything that grabs your information or anything. Um, and then you can just use the search bar to search if you're sewing like the Kelly Anorak or um, the Noodle Head Sandhill Sling or whatever you are. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's nestle these all together. This uh, fake fur is gonna plague me all month. All month. Let's see here. Line up these darts. And I'm just gonna top stitch the edge because I'm gonna cover it all with fur. <laughs> this one's not gonna go in the microwave, that's for sure. Well, I really didn't think this through very well. Oof, a little shy, a little shy right there. Oh, maybe it's not as bad as I think. I think I'm just sewing too far away. <laughs> this is why I have a, um, a lint remover now. <laughs> I'll have to get it out. Okay, there's my, my bowl. And now, all right, okay, 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 okay. Have you ever seen this trick? Because I've seen this. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, that stuff's banned in my studio. I do not allow, and I'm not kidding. I know this sounds really melodramatic, but I don't allow fake fur or burlap um, and a couple of other things that are similar to that in my sewing space. And I'm a little bit more relaxed about it now. And that's mainly because I do sew a really wide variety of things for the live stream. Um, but I didn't, especially when I had clients. I had clients for 11 years and then I had a factory for a, another 10 years and there was just no way. This stuff just taints your studio. So um, look at this little tip. I almost finished cutting this and I was like, I have to show you this. All right, so if you're cutting this evil stuff, flip it over from the back side. And if you have a razor, I don't have a razor, cut just this scrim on the back. Don't cut through the fur. Um, I know mine has, still has a lot of fur and that's just because it was kind of sitting in a bag for years and whatever, but this is really working. So if I just slip my scissors under here and cut it, and yeah, I can feel it. Like I could feel it occasionally trying to grab the fur and then I just, like right now it just did. And then now I'm gonna pull it apart. And see, I didn't cut any fur here. There's just like a little bit there, but it's so much less messy. So that's my little tip that um, I've seen people do this for years and I'm like, well, I don't need that tip because I don't use that stuff. I was all high, high and mighty about it. All right, so we're just gonna wrap this around the edge and sew it on. <laughs> if you know me, I do tend to be a little cavalier with my sewing, but not this cavalier. All right, I have all my lights down. Hopefully you can see okay, because I wanted you to see my lights. <laughs> and my, my studio is actually pretty well lit, so it's kind of hard to, uh, do that, my, the fur got stuck on my presser foot. Back stitch, come on. You know, another tip for sewing this stuff is if you put something like, I'm gonna mash this down, a, on the front of your feet, like a piece of paper. Let's see if I have something. Like, here we go. Something like this. Let's see if we can so better. Get all the fur out from the front of the feet. Because my the toes of my feet are open. So that's why it keeps getting caught. I'm not sure I can do it, but we'll try. I just do a smaller one. We'll see if this works. I just don't want to sew my paper. Yeah, that might, that might work. It'll work good enough for this. Really, it's just a all a way to get to the candy. I sewed my paper a little bit, but I just pulled it out and it was fine. We can just laugh at this little bowl all month and the stellar sewing job that I did on it.
doesn't seem faster, but it really is now that I'm not catching the fur. All right. Okay, and then at the end today, I'm gonna I'm gonna write a letter to Santa. You know, I feel like I I'm one of those, I'm a pretty generous person, um, and um, I'm always if you know me, you know I'm always advocating for things for the home sewing world. I used to work in the garment industry, so I kind of know the possibilities. You know what we could ask for, and things that I think we should um, be getting. Um, but I, I'm also been a trained pattern drafter. I, I know how hard it is for pattern companies too, right? So, I, I, you know, I feel like I straddle both sides. But this time of year is a time of year to give, right? But it's also a time of year to wish for what you really want, right? Like this is the kind of year where you can write a letter to Santa and no one has to know what you're asking for and you can just be really selfish. All right, so we're gonna write a letter to Santa at the end. If you wanna join me, you can. All right, here's my little, oh, this is, this is kinda cute. <laughs> okay. All right, this is, uh, this works for me. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hot mess, but um, let's fill it. <laughs> because I got some good candy and I can't wait. I haven't tried this one right here. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't call this all good candy, but you know. All right, this right here, these are, Peppermint cookie milk chocolate truffles. You're gonna see a theme here. I really like peppermint. And I always get these. In fact, people bring me little things of these. These are dark chocolate peppermint squares. I better like make leave room for other things here. All right, these are new to me. They are hot cocoa kisses. Look at all this candy I got. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I already opened this bag, so don't judge me. Um, Reese's peanut butter nut crackers. Ooh, look at it fits in my bowl, perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. Mmm, that's a big bowl of candy. <laughs> Which one would you pick? Let's try, I wanna try this peppermint cookie one. Hopefully I don't regret doing this on camera because I don't know what's inside here. Okay, that's legit. All right, I like vlog vlogmas. I like this, okay. Yes, I do want another one. How about we try hot cocoa? Do you think those are supposed to be like marshmallows? Look, I think they're supposed to be like little marshmallows, let's see. I don't know what to expect with this one either. Okay, I wish I would have, um, we'll just have another one. It's very soft. I can't believe I'm eating on camera. This isn't something I do. It's white inside. I will eat these, this is okay. But this isn't my favorite kind of flavor. I think that's supposed to be kind of like a marshmallow flavor, but it has more of a like a vanilla flavor and I'm not, I like vanilla, it's fine, but I don't like it as a flavor. So, obviously peppermint's my jam. <laughs> Let me show you my um, schedule while I swallow chocolate. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the schedule. I always post this on Instagram at the beginning of the month. Um, and then I also post it on the community tab, just in case you don't know on YouTube. Most um, channels, once they hit this like, uh, I think a thousand subscribers, they, they get a few features. One of them is called a community tab. And it's kind of like posting on Instagram. They can put a post on there, a static post or pictures. You can even link to a channel. So anyway, you can find mine there if you're not on Instagram or something. But um, And so I stream every other week usually. So next week is a streaming week and I'm gonna be doing the noodle head divided basket. And then the week, two weeks after that, I'm gonna be doing gift sewing, the 21st and 22nd, you can see down there at the bottom of the calendar. There's a week after that, but I don't usually stream that week either, so. And then let me um, show you what the divided basket looks like. It's very cute, perfect gift type of thing to make for someone. And um, they sent me some really cute fabrics. I'll, I think tomorrow we'll get 
um, that ready together. We'll do, you can help me prep for my streams a little bit. All right, and then um, I'm also going, this is kind of a weird picture. I'm gonna be doing a lot of gift bags this month. I pledged at the beginning of last year and then I totally forgot my pledge to myself that I was gonna make a gift bag every time I made a garment just with leftover fabric. I don't really care what they look like. I just am tired of wrapping paper and tape and scissors. I just wanna be able to throw it in a bag and cinch it shut and give it away. And if I see the bag again, great. I most likely will because I mostly give gifts with my family. Um, or um, maybe they'll gift a, something to me in the same bag, I don't care. I'm gonna make them for all different occasions. I don't care if it's a holiday or what. <laughs> But you know, when you have that extra like 12 inches of fabric or whatever, it can be part of a gift bag. So, and Hearts Fabric, they're very kind to me. They send me projects all throughout the year and make them for them and then they live at their store. I thought I'd do their little gift bag tutorial that I saw them post the other day. So I thought that'd be kind of a fun thing to do. All right, it's time to write a letter to Santa. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Okay, I even brought in, I probably will not wear these again on Vlogmas. Okay, so enjoy it now, because I doubt I will. This is as goofy as you're ever gonna see me on this channel. Well, I, I can't guarantee that. All right, I got some leftover pages from Patterns. I put a bow on a pen. I love you people, see? This is the most I've decorated for a holiday in years. <laughs> All right, what are we asking for from Santa? Oh, look at the taint of the fur. Let's turn off the machine. We could also think about it with the chocolate. I'll, I'll use this as a reward. I will not eat this till I write my letter. All right, dear Santa. Selfish wishes. Selfishly, you know what I wish for? I wish that pattern companies This is meant for my dog, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't actually hurt, so. I wish that pattern companies, how do I write this? Um, showed their patterns in every size offered. I promise my hand, my penmanship is better than this usually too. But I like switched from hand cursive to print. Anyway, so you know what I mean? Like I would love it if we could see like with uh, any pattern that comes out, I wanna see it sewn in every size. I'd like to see it sewn in every size. Love, Ceramy. That's me. And um, I'll have this chocolate for you, Santa. <laughs> He's like, thanks. <laughs> All right. Think we'll get our wish? What do you think of that? I like it. All right, thanks for coming. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. You might not see me every day. You'll see me when you see me. Happy holidays.